everybody, it's Jess here with Bless Jess. Thank you so much for watching. Today is Monday, January 15th, Martin Luther King Jr. holiday. Nate is home from school. He was up at the bright early hour of like 6.15. Um, but I went to bed pretty early last night, so I feel very good. But today, I'm going to show you everything I eat. I've done a very, pretty bad job of actually showing you the food. <laughs> I've just been telling you guys about it. So I'm going to try my best to show you everything today. Um, I am doing intuitive eating, eating when I'm hungry, stopping when I'm full. There's no list of good foods, bad foods, what I can't or can't have, can or can't have. And um, yeah, that's all I'm doing. So this morning I woke up and I had a really bad headache. I still have a slight, still there, just hanging on just a little bit. So I got up and took ibuprofen and um, that stuff makes me really nauseous on an empty stomach. So, and I was hungry. Hold on just a second. So I went ahead and ate um, half a bagel. So I'll insert that picture. It was just half of an everything bagel with some cream cheese. And then I had a Diet Coke, like maybe half of it. I need to finish it. And then I drank my Spark. I already drank that. So this is what I'm talking about when I say Spark. It's vitamins, um, an amino acid supplement. Zero everything, zero calories, zero, um, Hold on just a second. Zero calories, zero carbs, um, but there's a lot of really good vitamins and stuff in it, and it is like a natural energy. I think there's also some caffeine. It's sugar-free, um, that, so that's what I had this morning. I am starting to get really hungry. It is 10.30, though, so I don't know why I feel hungry today. Um, David, I'm going to try to wait, though, till lunch because I don't want to ruin my appetite. That's okay. Sit down, Nate. David is going to get our car fixed. So we had a recall on our car, and we've been driving a rental car for the last two years. <laughs> two years. Two months. I don't know why I said two years. I'm losing it, y'all. Um, so he went to get that fixed, and then they said, oh, well, the recall is part of the problem, but you also have something else wrong. It's like a steering wheel. So I don't even know. But it's going to cost like $500 to fix it. So... That is a super bummer, a super big bummer today, but they said it would be very dangerous in a collision because um, it would like lock up. Or, I, I don't really know, but we had had our airbag light come on and we thought it, maybe it was because of the recall. It's not because of that, it's because of this problem. So we're getting it fixed. So it's going to take him a little bit longer. I'm trying to see if he wanted us to come get him, um, which I think he said we might, uh, he might want me to come get him because it's going to be a little bit. Anyway, so we're just getting ready for the day. Can I help you guys? Lucy has her clothes on, but she doesn't have her hair done yet. It's a little crazy. I need to talk to you. Okay, she needs to talk to you. What do you want to say? What do you want to say? Uh, the banana she wants to tell you the bananas are... Okay, she wanted to tell you guys that our bananas have not turned yellow. But you ate one of the green ones last night. Did you like it? She likes. She's like me. She likes green bananas. I like them pretty green. Anyway, we might be going to go get David to we'll probably do lunch out again. This is the thing. Like, no, mommy's talking right now. Um, in a minute. I have been cleaning and cleaning all day and. Nate has been cooped up in this house and we need to get him out. So we'll probably do lunch out again. Some are inexpensive. I've really got to cut down on us eating out. But it always happens that we get them out right around meal times. Hi. Hi. Nate came to me and said hi. 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 So um, I've got a lot of cleaning done today. I did the floors swept and mopped everything. I cleaned the bathrooms. The only thing I haven't done is vacuum, so I need to do that later. But I think we're going to get everybody's shoes on. We're going to go across town to um, hang out with David for a little while before maybe go to lunch or something, and then he can get the car after it gets done being fixed. Um, anyway, I will definitely be taking pictures of what I eat today. Uh, I have another thing that's been going really weird the last few days. My scale. I think I'm going to have to buy another scale. And I've tried changing the batteries. Um, it hasn't helped. Um, when I step on it, it weighs me as one thing. I step off, step back on, I'm two pounds heavier. I step off, step back on, I'm two pounds heavier than that. 
and it does that over and over and it just keeps going up and up <laughs> every time I step on and off I go up two pounds so yesterday I gained like 30 pounds because <laughs> I was like what is going on and I've tried like resetting it I tried everything and so honestly I'm a little freaked out because I'm like worried that it's been weighing me wrong for the last you know God only knows how long so I'm a little afraid you know have I been getting accurate weights I have no idea you know I have no idea how much away because I feel like the scale is so just messed up hopefully it just started doing it and it hasn't been happening for a while like what if it's been weighing me too low or too high um, I always when I weigh step on and step back off and make sure I get the same weight so I don't really know what's going on with it but I think I'm gonna have to bite the bullet and just get another scale I've had this one for a couple years which is not that long I got it was a cheap one that was like 20 bucks off of Amazon and we have moved with it and it's been you know I, I don't know so I'm a little nervous but you know what I'm just gonna keep doing what I'm doing and if it has been weighing me wrong either lower or higher then that I could do about it I mean I know I've been to the doctor and it's been pretty much the same as you know but every scale is different too so I've been a little high like when I go to the doctor I weigh with all my clothes on and my shoes on and everything so it's always a little higher and it's a different scale I don't know I don't know you guys it's really it's really a weird thing but <sighs> Lucy wants to go to Panda today and there is a Panda over by the car place so um, Nate won't eat there but we probably could get him um something and we might do that for lunch it'll be a little cheaper but we really need to rein in the budget uh, and when Nate's at school it's not a big deal but when every time he's off we like to just go out and get him out of the house and everything so anyway I think we're gonna get our shoes on and go rescue David from sitting at the <laughs> the car place he can at least, we can at least go to lunch or something because he doesn't have a car so he's just stuck there so anyway I will take a picture of whatever we eat and um I will show you guys when I get home Bye. Hi everyone, we are home from getting our car and all of that lunch. We ended up going to Panda. Um, I will insert a picture. I had a bowl of steamed rice with some orange chicken. Definitely wish I could have gotten a huge plate. <laughs> but it's a good little serving and um, it was enough to make me feel very satisfied. So I had that with some water. I've had like a very bad migraine. I'm going to try to get rid of that. I've taken Tylenol. Um, I know I took ibuprofen and I've also taken, later on I've taken Excedrin migraine and that usually really helps, but it's not helping. <laughs> so anyway, after that we went to Target. So I thought I'd show you guys what we got at Target. So I told you guys my scale dilemma. They had these for $20, so I went ahead and got them. Got one at say Weight Watchers Digital Scale. I could have got it on Amazon for about the same price. Not this one, but a different one. But this way I'll have it right now. And then they had... I don't need these because I just bought them yesterday, but they had Nate's favorite French toast sticks for on sale. Um, normally I get them. I never can find them at Kroger. Under, hold on, just a second. Um, I never can find them at Kroger under two ninety nine. That's the lowest price. And so instead of three dollars, I paid six dollars and I got three boxes. So they were only two dollars each. And then also. Nate's thermos um, cup, he chews the straw because it's like rubber. So I saw this thermos and it has a hard spout. So I thought this would be really good because he can't chew it as bad. Um, so I got that for him. It's $10, so I think it's going to be worth it. Then we just got some medicine. Like Nate needed Zyrtec and I forgot to get it yesterday. So I got some more Zyrtec for him. And then I got some Q-tips. So nothing very exciting. But oh, also... Lucy, we've been wanting to get her a nightstand because she likes to have all this stuff with her at bedtime. <laughs> she likes her water bottle and, you know, she'll have like tissues or a book or something. And so she wanted a little nightstand, didn't you? So we got this. It's just like a little accent table. But we're going to use it as a nightstand. It's upside down, but just a little white table. Hopefully it'll look okay by her bed. And um, so that's another thing we got. It was $15, which I felt like it's not bad I think it's gonna be we got this one at Walmart right here I don't know how well you can see that um so I think it's kind of like that except it's white <sighs> so anyway um I guess that's it I'm kind of crossing my fingers that this scale isn't gonna weigh me heavier <laughs> like this I feel like this old scale has been lying to me or something I don't know uh, Lucy also found a, a treat that was marked down on Clarence so I'll let her get it what is it it was behind me what is it? 
she got a little num num. I don't even know what that is really, but it's it's, into, it could have either been a lip it gloss. Smells like a, it's, yeah, it smells like it smells like a cupcake or something. It smells like a chocolate bar. Don't smell that though. This is the nail polish part. Whoops. So it could have either been a nail polish or a lip gloss. Don't smell that part. That's yucky to smell. No, no, this part. Let me smell. That doesn't smell like anything. Anyway. It like so she milk. got that for like a dollar. So it we'll smells, have to paint our nails later with it. Smell, it smell it, guys. Lucy, on the way home, starts screaming to the top of her lungs. I'm talking like, <gasps> I mean, just like screaming. And I'm driving going, Lucy, what's wrong? What's wrong? I mean, I felt like she was really bad hurt. Turns out there was a spider on her. <laughs> like a little tiny spider. So we had to pull over and I had to kill the spider and all that. And, oh, man. Anyway, my head hurts. I'm going to go try to rest. I will definitely show you guys dinner when I have it. I'm not planning on eating anything else until dinner. So, see you guys back then. Hey, everybody. So, this is what I have for dinner. So, this is a sunflower crunch salad. I just have a little bit of that there. And then I did a baked potato. This has a little bit of butter. So, a little bit of cheese. And then a good bit of sour cream. Um, salt and pepper. So, this is what I'm having. And I've been refilling my bottle from lunch. I think I'm on my like third bottle. So that's what's for dinner. Hey y'all. So it is the end of the night. It's almost nine o'clock. Dinner was good. I still feel a little bit hungry, but I think I'm just gonna try not to eat unless I just get starving. Uh, but I think I'll be okay to wait till um breakfast tomorrow. I couldn't think of the word. So I did really well today. So all I had today was that half a bagel. Um the bowl of orange chicken and some steamed rice at Panda and then the baked potato and salad. So it was pretty good. Small portions. Um, however, my scale, my new scale <laughs> is weighing me a good bit heavier than my old scale. So I'm not really sure what's going on. I'll tell you guys more about all of that on Monday. Oh, my phone's going off. but Wednesday. Uh, Wednesday. What did I say? Monday. Yeah, today's Monday. I'll tell you about, more about that on Wednesday. I got a lot of housework done today. We get our car back today. Um, we went to Target. You know, just we got a lot of little things done. We should be getting some snow maybe tomorrow. So um, there's no school canceled yet. I think that it's not going to hit us till later in the day. So they probably won't have school canceled, I'm thinking. I don't really know any details because I know more about what's happening in Alabama than what I do know what's happening in Georgia. I have no idea. Um, all I know is from weather.com and they're just saying there's a possibility of snow. So I don't know how sure it is or like what they're thinking, how much or anything like that. So we are completely stocked with food. And as long as we don't run out of power, that was horrible last time, <laughs> but hopefully we'll be okay. So, um, I will keep you guys updated. Um, really not that much going on. I drink a lot of water today. I've been really thirsty. So that's been nice, and um, we've just had a nice family day. So David goes back to work to work tomorrow. Nate goes back to school tomorrow. Lucy and I uh, will be busy doing stuff around the house and all that. And if we do have any sort of snow, I want to get the house clean just before we're all, like, snowed in together or something. I don't think they're thinking it's going to be a lot. Like, last time we got, like, 11 inches. They didn't think it was going to be a lot then either. Um, so you just never know. But anyway. That same, the same storm is actually hitting Texas where we have friends there and then it's going through Alabama and then possibly to us. So crazy. I hope everybody's staying safe out there. Anyway, that's going to be it for today. If you like this video, make sure you give it a big thumbs up. Leave me a comment down below. Please subscribe if you're new and I will see you all tomorrow. Bye guys. Walking down the street just like I own it I'm rolling to the beach just like I wrote it